Hey, art peeps, welcome in today. We got a step-by-step -step drawing coming back at you with a step-by-step -step of one of my favorite paintings ever. Um, I even got the shirt Check out today. Check that out. There it is. Bam. It is by Katsushika Hukusai. It is the Great Wave. We're gonna go ahead and do go through this simple with step by step, and then I'll show you so many options that my kids have done some really awesome things about. Um, so pencil, just lightly, just to get some of the ideas. A pretty easy step by step. So that will go over, and then up. So kind of like a really stretched out S, and then it's kind of gonna have some zigzags on it on the bottom of it. So we'll take our pencil. I'll hold it a little bit up. You know, kind of do some zigzags, some kind of swirly lines. And then bring that coming down like a C and going up. And then another one right over on this side will go up and then over again. And you can again do some of those zigzags, really kind of uncontrollable lines. Tip of that, we're going to add our boat at the bottom here. Gonna add a really, really stretched out kind of U. Another skinny U. And then this one dips down a little bit further and then comes back up. Okay? So that's our boat at the bottom. If you wanna put some lines in your boat, you can do that. And then now we got Mount Fuji all the way in the background here. If you want to add a little horizon line, you can do that. And then a stretched out triangle on there. <laughs> Pretty simple. I always add, like to add some more of those kind of zigzag lines on the top of it. Makes it look a little bit more like a mountain. Now we got that. Look. Oh my gosh, look at what happened. I forgot to hit my play button as I was doing all these awesome little squiggle wiggle lines. So basically I just took from that top zigzag and added some more squiggles up and down and up and down. That's kind of like the tide as it kind of crashes over these big giant waves on there if you've ever been to the beach or to the ocean. So I added some on each of these little parts on here and how I did that. With it, if we get our big giant wave on here and we kind of did those little zigzags at the top. I just kind of continued that and kind of went up, down, up, down, up, down around here and then added those a little bit further onto the bottom by the boat. I kind of took from there and did that. And did the same thing over here. Up, down, up, down. So I can get some little zigzags or squiggles on there. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we are ready to go over this in Sharpie. Let's fill that in with some magical Sharpie powers here, just like, just like that, bam, like there it that. is. Bam, there it is. Okay, so now that we got it over in Sharpie, it's totally up to you what you do for the back. Seen so many different options, so many different cool things. For show you quick some of those really cool examples and ideas and inspiration to make yours however that you want it. So I'm gonna go through mine real fast, let's go. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. Click on the button and the bell. All right, you ready to see it? Bam, there it is. The really cool, got to use my oil pastels, got a whole bunch of awesome ones from class that I just had to show off. Um, some of them use paint, uh, some of them still outline in Sharpies. We had some oil pastels. Um, there were some really, really cute and good ones. Um, my favorite one, um, I think it was kind of inspired by this Godzilla one over here. Look at this one. Oh. 
awesome. Love with this one was I think with just crayons, but really, really detailed. So obviously a whole bunch of different options that you can do with this and discover and create. And that's the main job. Again, this is the Great Wave painting by Hokusai. Really, really fun, awesome project for us today. Mr. Shooty's art class. So I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class. We'll talk to you guys later.